first that we still have some freedom. But eventually it might be like Canada, like China. <coughs> all, all the nations that are gonna go along with this new world order, that are gonna worship a false god, that are gonna fall into a system where everybody has to use the same currency, and to fit in, in society, you all need to take this type of mark, this universal mark, this mark that's global, so that you can still buy or sell to be part of society. But you don't have to be blind anymore. May God take off that veil that's that's on you. May he remove the veil so you can see what's really right in front of you and not be seeing what's been lied to you, what's been told of you, what's been told to you by the world. We really need to be waking up. This is a time of urgency. You may not see how serious it is right now, but later it's going to be more urgent and serious. That you're going to wish you had listened. That you're going to want to have listened to the truth that, that certain things were going to come to pass. Prophecies that are to be fulfilled. <coughs> it's fine if you think of me as a crazy person, because most of the world hates preachers. They think we're crazy because of our own faith. That's fine. I'm not ashamed of it. Because God is still good. God will provide... God will have mercy on my enemies if they repent. I don't hate, I have to love my enemies. And let them know they're loved and that there's still hope for them that they can be forgiven. Even someone who's my enemy could be saved. Who could be forgiven of all sin. You just have to be thankful every day that God has mercy. And be thankful for what Christ did for us on the cross, the ultimate sacrifice. But just know that God loves you and that He wants you to be changed. He wants you to be new. He wants you to be transformed. If you come to Him, He will transform you. He will change your mind. He will let you know that, that He wants you to know that He has a promise for you. And to love Him with, with your all. Love Him, love Him with all your heart, soul and mind and might. Just love Him every day. Make Him first in your life.